I was out at Cascades with a couple buddies. I was with my good friend, Wade Harrison. Uh, also, a buddy of mine, Curtis England. He works at the NRC. I do annual Christmas tree work with him. And um, we were there, uh, put on. I was using a different paddle that day because my other paddle had broken the week prior, the one I had used for five years. Uh, Warner Sakines, they last a long time, so go get you one of those. Um, <laughs> It, it was a good paddle, and then I was using a different Warner paddle. It was like a small shaft, and I have quite large hands, so it uh, I was gripping pretty tight on that thing. Ooh, it was and, a small shaft, you said? Yeah, it was, it was all I had, so it was like you know, slipping around and shit. But I uh, tried to make it work, and everything was going all right until we get to Kahuna, and we're, I'm behind Wade on the lead-in and stuff. Things going well. And then I take a left stroke and my paddle kind of jams in those rocks and it just kind of slipped. And I tried to hold on to it, hold my shoulder back and popped it out of the front here, causing an anterior dislocation. And I flipped and I, I managed to hit a quick back deck roll before going over the falls and then ran Kahuna with it out. And once I ran it, I was able to kind of like pull myself into the eddy uh, with some right strokes. Um, and then a friend of mine, it was my first time meeting him, great way to meet him, uh, Parker Pierre, Pierre, I don't know how to say his last name very well. He heard me screaming like a little girl and he uh, ran down the side, ran down the side and came and he, he jumped into the eddy and pulled me onto the bank. Uh, and from there, that's when Wade Harrison, he got out of his boat and he uh, helped me relocate it, or in medical terms, they call it reducing it, um, with the Stimson technique, laying my chest on a rock and pulling it back in. And... I just flipped and it came right out. Yeah, you got sideways. I've seen it. You got. Do you want to? Do you want to reset it, or you would... how bad does that hurt? It doesn't feel good. How do you help, dude? Once, once you reset it, all that pain's gonna go away. Is it actually? Dude, I'm telling you, I think we can reset it right here. If you lay your chest up here, and then we're gonna try to pull it down like that. Hold my arm up for me. Lay down flat, come over some. Take a okay. deep breath. Take a deep breath, buddy. Ready? I felt it. Better? Something's still loose. Well, it's going to feel loose. Right now, just, just let it hold it right there. But it, 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 it's back in. Is it? Yeah, yeah, it's back in. It was within, I mean, all of that came together within a minute and a half of it happening. Maybe two minutes. It was all very fast. Um, oh, from the time it pops out to the time, the time it popped in. out to the time it was back in was like two to three minutes maximum. It was all incredibly fast. Um, 
uh, I mean, that went, it went about as well as it could have gone for that situation. You know, um, it could have been a lot worse. I could have swam up there. Or if I didn't catch the eddy, I could have went into uh, junkyard and power slide or whatever with, with it out. And getting caught in that hole at power slide with the shoulder out, out of your boat could be pretty, pretty bad, you know, especially trying to grab a rope with one arm, you know. Oh, there's a lot of factors there that it's, it's really important that you're on top of your stuff and you know who you're with and what they know. And that's why I stress the, you know, swift water rescue training so much and, and medical training because, you know, once you get to that level of boating or any boating in general, it's that stuff can't, you, can't, you shouldn't, it shouldn't be blown off. I know, I know it's easy to get caught up in like, oh, it's gonna be a great day, everything's awesome, the sun's shining, the water's flowing, you know, it doesn't matter, we're chilling. You know, that's, 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 that's the whole goal to have a good time. And you also always need to have that, you know, safety mindset in your head regardless of what the situation may be. It might be class two, it might be class five, and you should always be prepared for what could happen, you know? Even on our best days. Yep, exactly. Yep. Yeah, because I just located the second time in, in flat water on the Chattahoochee, so, you know, it happens. It does, I mean, I know. <laughs> yeah. I'm two well, in two years as well, man. This was my second one. Yeah, it sucks. It sucks. Yeah. The so. first time, the first time hurt quite a bit worse than the second time. Because I guess, I mean, the second time things were already torn up in there. You know, it wasn't, it wasn't ripping as much the second time it came out. Did so. you know, like the moment it happened above the Kahuna, did you know, like it's Oh, yeah. It's gone. Oh, yeah. Now, oh, shit. Yeah. <laughs> I'm like, oh, fuck. All right. I was what upside down. Your mind in that moment? Like, what are you, like, are you immediately thinking, I need to get to the side as fast as I can, or are you, what's going so, through your head? When it came out, my first thought is, okay, this, you know, this arm is blown. It's it's kind of useless now, but I need to keep that hand on the paddle. And because it pulled out to my left and flipped me over that way, and it's so shallow there, I was on my back deck. So I was able to hit a back deck roll and roll back up. And I knew to myself, I was like, okay, I still got to try and pull a little righty boof stroke off this. And, you know, holding, gripping my hand and holding the paddle with this hand was able to keep the arm up enough that I could do it, you know? And it was so, it was so recent after it came out and all the adrenaline and stuff, it didn't, didn't really feel like much. And then I, it was like a weak little boof. And then I was able to kind of pull righties into the eddy. And Wade had caught River Left Eddie, if I remember correctly, and he ferried across. And um, we were talking after, and he was like, "Yeah, I knew something was wrong when you came off the drop like that, because that was," he said, "that was a weak stroke, and I, I don't see you paddle like that." Fucking <laughs> <laughs> Wade, Captain America. Yeah. It's awesome you had Captain America with you, though, dude. Yeah, I love paddling with Wade. He's a great guy, uh, really good dude. So, and and watch his channel too. Um, but, and there's also a video on his channel about this whole thing where you could watch it all go down. Um, Cause he, he was there filming. There will definitely be a link in the description. Yeah. Yep. He was, he was filming during that. You get to hear me cry and scream, you know, ah, that whole thing. Um, I'm pretty sure you're justified in this situation. Yeah, it was pretty, it was fair. It was fair. Yeah. It'll probably not be till late October, early November till I can paddle again. So what, what's the, that's like five months, I guess? Six total months, time. or he said six months total times. The surgery they did was a left shoulder arthroscopy, I believe it's called, where essentially they put anchors in the bone and internal sutures to act as a like a barrier to keep the head of the bone in there um and the whole goal for my recovery yeah yeah it, it, it the whole goal for my recovery is to keep it tight right now um while those things heal 
because that's supposed to remain tight. And those sutures will stretch over time. Um, but right now, while those anchors are healing into the bone, it's, it's they're only about three millimeters long. It's really important that I keep it tight and don't overwork it because if it loosens too early, then it kind of defeats the entire purpose of the surgery. So um, that's what I'm doing now. Just one day at a time. Doing physical therapy as well. Um, Where are you going oh, for your uh, PT? I'm doing Peachtree Orthopedics here in Atlanta. Uh, they're really That's what I saw yesterday. Really? Timothy Griffin. That's who literally I was just there yesterday getting my cortisone shots. Yeah. Well, dude, what kind of plans do you have when you come back? Are you going to go back to the Cascades? So, my, I think my plan will be to first just go somewhere super easy, you know, just see what the stability is feeling like, and then slowly progress. You know, of course, I'm going to naturally want to just go back to what I was doing uh, before my injury. And I'm just going to make sure, you know, I hold myself accountable and not do that. Just that being out for another six months or longer or permanently ruining my shoulder at this young of an age would really suck. So I'm going to take my time, you know, look at things in the, in the broad spectrum, the grand scheme of things, you know, remember that I have years and years of paddling ahead of me and I don't need to I don't need to jump right back into what I was doing right now um, taking my time will be really important and that's going to be a big part of my recovery and holding myself accountable to do that Fuck it up my butthole.